last time on Dog Naropa, Trigger Happy Havoc. I remember now. Hope's Peak. Come on, you gotta wake up! I remember everything before I met you all. I met you all. And now, back to trying to ditch school. If you just do it, it'll turn out okay. Oh. Uh, had a run with some old people I used to be friends with, but... I was down for a while, but now I'm back. Now I'm, I think I'm being better now. But anyways, forget them. It's not this game of killing people. First, but first, I break the Makuma file. Hmm. The victims were Hifumi, Yamada, and Kyoko Ishimaru. Cause the death for each was a blow to the head. I thought they were they were killed of, both killed of a similar weapon. That being a hammer. Yeah, that's it. Very strange. Yes, it is pretty strange. <coughs> <coughs> Look at me, call I cloth like a rich person. We got Lay West information this time than before. <sighs> that is no problem. After all, the events of this case unfolded before our very eyes. We should know more about what happened than the Monokuma file could anyways. Hmm. Maybe. Me. Well. There is something else that's bothering me. Hmm. Someone else has been missing for quite a while. Are you talking about Kyoko? Without a doubt, she is an alibi for when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked. But what if the killer wasn't acting alone? What if they had an accomplice? An accomplice? An accomplice! What are you doing here? Monokuma appears! Debbie Reed! I'm here to answer your questions! What question? Yep. Talked about accomplice, right? Ooh. I'm pretty sure I explained it before, didn't I? During the first class trial! Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer! Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? In other words... So basically, you can be the accomplice if you want, but there's no good case in it! So then. So are you saying that nobody worked together this time either? Hey, um... Sorry! Can't answer that! It was like the free change to use for to protect you guys! I just want to make sure you don't forget, no matter how much you might ass assist in the murder... Yeah. Only one black and counter weight! Accomplice gets nothing! Zip! Zero! So in other words... Then, um, then we only need to figure out who the one blackened is that did the killing, right? 
just like normal. Well. Okay, okay. Let me get take the opportunity to clarify this whole shebang. In this, class, in this class trial, what you need to determine is Extreme. the one true black in, the one who, who devised the murder plot and put it in action. The true black end? So, just one person? Well, now. That's enough for explanifying! Now it's down to the final battle between all of you and the black end! Good luck to all the contestants! So there can be only one blackened. Accomplice wouldn't benefit. I can't, I can't see any way Kyoko would be connected to this case after all. Hmm. You, may, you may be right. Um. If that's true, then Kyoko, where are you? However. As long as he's not, as long as he's not connected back to the case, it doesn't matter. Let's get back to the investigation. Indeed. I have absolutely no doubt that Hero is responsible. He is no hero. Hero is no hero. For the time being, I suppose it can't hurt to pursue further information. So, um. You know, you know, don't you, don't you think we should consider a certain someone a suspect just in case? I'm talking about the murderous fiend, Genocide Jack. What? I'm offended. Oh. You, when did you? <laughs> I don't know you, master. When I look up, you're nowhere to be found! Anyway, you there! Max Milk Sacked Super Grill! Huh? Milk Sack? You've gotta be kidding! Why do I gotta be a suspect? What the heck? Well, well, I mean, you are a serial killer! I'm like a special guest subject every time. I don't know, but you know. Hmm. She's right. Unfortunately, she's right about that. When we heard human screams, she was with me. And by disappeared, she was still lying unconscious in the equipment room. Plus. Taka's body side. I can imagine any way she would have been able to move Fumi's body. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Besides, I calculate every move I make. I'm not gonna kill someone when everyone knows what I look like. <laughs> Don't call me a murderous thing for nothing. What are you saying? That's the kind of thing you should be bragging about. Let's see. On another topic, should we, should we post the guard by the bodies like before? We can't have them disappearing again. So then. <coughs> hmm. He and I can handle that. You don't mind, do you, Hina? Hmm. Sure. I'll be totally useless on the information anyways. It's all clear now. Then, then, then that is that. Let us begin. This whole thing is so strange. Uh, one of us is an alibi for figuring out who that didn't seem obvious, right? But maybe it's just me. But I don't think it's gonna be as straightforward as it seems. I can file three as number three is my idea of truth bullets. There's hiding on the wall. I don't like mallets. Mallets. The Justice Hammer has been designed using these as models? The way that all the hammers have obviously seen a lot of use. Covered in debris and sucky stone powder. Wait. For some reason, this one isn't dirty at all, and it's wet. Someone washed it recently? T 
Taka. He'll never move again. According to the Makima file, Taka died from a blow to the head. I found Justice Hammer 4 near his body in the equipment room. Is that what you, you used to kill him? There's a sharp blade underneath his body. Did the killer used this to move Taka's body? That way, there wouldn't be any blood left behind while the body was moved. Blue tarp has been added to the truth bullets. The dolly! It doesn't have that handle. I saw this in the art room before. I guess I, it's, it's used to do statues around. It's kind of awkward, but if you bend down, it's not too hard to use. Huh? But, wait. Was this in the equipment room? Where we, when we found Taka's body? Look at the wheel! There's a blood stain on it! So there's blood on the wheel of the dolly that was moved from the equipment room to, to, to the repository. Let's take a for that. If you miss but he means big cold big cold body is lying on the floor. His really big body. I mean how on earth is the killer able to move someone so big? There's officer discovered the repository. One, two floors up! Away from the first floor to the third floor! Without anyone noticing it! How the hell? Meep. No good, I just don't get it. Nagi Nagi not bright. I gotta think about it later. For now, I have to finish the investigation, but again, he fumed me himself. Huh, if I remember correctly, he fumed me fatal injury was a, also a blow to the head. Probably from just a chamber three, which was laying on the floor of the nurse's office. Huh? Wait. Something's off about his body. Why am I getting this feeling? Something's different. So he fumed me by the nurse's office versus his body right now. Huh. That's it! His glasses! His body was in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered in with blood. But now they're completely clean. Does that mean someone wiped his glasses off? But who would do that? And why? Fuse glasses have been added to your truth bullet section of your handbook. So, um. Hey, Mikado, I've been thinking about something. But the repository. Huh, what is it? Hmm. After Fumi and Taka's body disappeared, we split up to look around, right? I was really scared, so I, me and Sakura stuck together. But... We came to the right repository to you know, look around. But when we got there, repository the was locked. We couldn't get inside. It was locked? Hmm. Yeah, you you know, you You know, you were here you were you were here too. You were, you opened the door, you saw it! Don't you remember, Nagi? We came here since we used to start started, so there's no way to make it beat us here. So that's true. And who locked it? Why is it unlocked now? I wonder the same thing. Door was locked and the search device began. Now it's wide open. Make some kind of secret working in there. I'll probably have to leave it to the area to figure it out. I mean, after this reactive incident this time, too many to be honest. Considering that maybe good, good look back on everything that's happened. So then. Would you like my help? Uh huh. Sure, why not? Yeah, let's go back on things. Mm. This morning, only four of us came met up the dining hall: Hina, Kyoko, you, and myself. We have the others, did, but nobody showed up, so we decided to look for, for him. Mm. It was around 8 o'clock when we began our search. And soon after we split up, Kyoko disappeared. Mm. After that, Hina found Celeste in the direct room on the third floor. Then quickly came and got you and me. According to Celeste, she was attacked by a suspicious individual and laid unconscious for about an hour. In other words, she was attacked an hour before we found her. Meaning, mean just after 7 o'clock. Based on the picture Celeste took, we dis we discovered her attacker was dressed in a strange costume. It was it it was Robo Justice. 
I thought it became clear that this brutal justice had dragged the Fumi away. After meeting up with T Toko and Byakuya, we began searching for the costume assailant. We found an interview with Fumi on the library on the second floor. We took him down to the teacher's office and the first floor and resumed our search. Now longer we were leaving the nurse's office. What's... What's wrong? I saw a shadow. Something moving around the top of the stairs. Based on Celeste's claims, we went back up to the second floor. We put up and began searching. And right after that... Celeste screamed. Celeste screamed. This time, she had apparently seen the suspect on the third floor. Hearing her screams, we quickly ran away to the third floor. Celeste, what's wrong? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you, peasant girl. I saw him. The strange costume man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he fed further down the hallway and then disappeared. Mm. And then... Ah, ah! Huh? What was that? I came down from downstairs. It must have been... He feel me. He me. He's in the nurse's office. This is bad. Come on. We gotta get back. At that point, we decided to split up into two groups. Celeste, Hina, and I went back to their office. Meanwhile, Yubiaki and Toko pursued the suspect up the third floor. And we got back to the nurse's office. We found the Fumi's corpse. It was also when we heard the body discovery announcement play. I left, Cel I left Celeste and Hina alone and headed back to the third floor to help the others. What had happened? But at the same time, we had discovered Taka's body in the equipment room. Which means if you mean Taka's bodies were discovered right around the same time. Because I remember the hearing the body discovery announcement playing right after finding Taka. And that's when I... Sh that's when I showed up and told you, that told you and Byakuya that if you mean has been killed, right? Then you, me, and Byakuya all headed to the nurse's office. We went behind Toko who had fainted. But as, as soon as we left the physics lab, we ran to Celeste who had just arrived to tell us something very unusual. The Fumi's body had disappeared. We hurried back, we hurried back to the nurse's office to discover that his corpse had, it was in fact gone. Then we remember. Then we remember we had abandoned the unconscious Toko and rushed back to the equipment room. This cannot be happening. Are y'all? Are y'all? Are we hallucinating all this or something? This time, Taka's body had, had disappeared. So from there, we began the search for both the missing bodies. And so after some time. Celeste told us she had found all the bodies and we all had the repository. And there we discovered the two bodies that apparently vanished. And that brings us to now. However, Looking back, things have certainly been very active. We went to it again. Another previous in the middle of this game. Any time. No, thank you. That was a long talking spell for nothing. Yakia! Tagami, you think Hero really did it? I don't see how anyone else could have think otherwise. When the attacks and the murders and disappearances all happened, every one of us had an alibi. No, the last thing he me say when he died. Yeah, he said Hero's name. So in other words. And there's never room to suspect anyone else. A 
Okay, but if he did do it, why would he hide his identity of that weird costume? Hmm. Maybe he thought that no matter what ha happened, he'd be t safe as long as his face was covered. Because he's the fool of the century, you see? I mean, he is kind of dumb. Do you think that's enough to explain it? It feels like there's a clue hiding in there somewhere. What? And and is that it? That's all that bothers you about the case? Well, no, there are a few other things. Like, why did the killer try to hide the bodies? Hmm. They probably they probably. They probably figured if, if we can find the bodies, we can complete the investigation. But that's the case, we found the bodies pretty easy, didn't we? Again, it comes back to the fact that the culprit was a moron. Is that really all there is to it? Me. The other thing that bothers me is. Why'd they bother killing two people? What? Because all the rules say is if you can kill someone and get away with it, you graduate, right? So if you're the killer, your number one priority is not getting caught. But killing, killing two people makes means more clues, more chances you'll get found out. I see. Hmm. Hold on. Perhaps. I see, so that's what that means. Is everything okay? Hmm. That's enough. Don't talk to me as if we were friends. You never you have not finished my social links yet. Our free time's not done not yet done. I almost said the attitude. <laughs> but you have my appreciation. Goodbye. Thanks to you, I might have some fun out with this after all. Mysterious words hung in the air as he left the repository. He talked to you, figured something out. If he did, he killed him. Killed him tell me what it was? So there's only one way in and out of this room. The, the, the door that he knew so it was locked before. Definitely a lock on the, in this door, but you can only open, be locked from the inside the repository. I don't, see any, I don't see any way to lock it from the, uh, the art room. Hmm. Door can only be locked from the inside. Sorry, it makes me wonder. Hina and Sakura, and, and I myself, confirmed that the door was locked after we started looking for the missing bodies. The door was designed so that it can only be locked from the inside repository. In other words, when you checked it, someone had already gone in their repository and locked the door. When they were done, they unlocked it and left, which is why it's unlocked now. But Hina claims there's no way someone could have been the repository. That, so that certain someone... Hidori. Hmm, let me clear around there somewhere. Check somewhere else. Some of the place I, I, I already know about. There's an office where he was found. The equipment room where Taco was found. No, no, no hiding Kyoko today. <laughs> I'll see if my hidden in the killer can get by the way. What the fuck? I'm just a rare of the rare of a bit. This is a tarp. I've seen it some before and just recently too. 
and a companion mark going through the pool. A blood in the middle of the room. Reminds me about the dolly in the repository. There's blood on this tire. Could that blood come from here? I mean, Taka's body was moved from Rock to Crypt to Jason Dolly. Left room for the third floor, so that would definitely have been a possibility. If Dolly was used to move the Taka's body, what if you me? Whose body was in the nurse's office on the first floor? But even with the Dolly, there's no way to get up on the third floor. It's a total mystery. Before that, weapon was used to kill Taka. Moved, or weapon was just left here. Speed through here because ah, gotta love the speed train. Life life, how to do that. What do you have to gain, Celeste? I am not sticking to anything, precisely speaking. I'm simply going around to see if Hero might be hiding somewhere. Mm. <coughs> what about you? Well, you know, I'm just taking this and that. One thing on my mind is how, Fumi, how someone can move to Fumi's body. I mean, he's a big boy. Let's see. Mm -hmm. How how the fumi was moved, eh? It disappeared. You're in the nurse's office, right? Yes, indeed. Correct. You know, it's not feeling so well, so I stayed behind to look after her. She seems to be getting worse, so I took her to the bathroom. When you got back, the body was gone? Hmm. It could not have been gone for more than a minute or, or two, though. Yeah, he is the same thing. Hmm, so the killer was able to get in and move Hume's body, and that's why I'm out of time. Indeed. It would seem so. Kill off someone as big as Hume in only a couple of minutes is. I can't think of anything else. I can't think of anything less than impossible. That's a truth bullet section. Number three, the one that used to kill Hume. Some of the body looked left behind. I wonder if there's anything to drink inside. Yeah, I've been throwing I'm totally perished. Let me just a quick peek. There's lots of blood packed in here. The blood trenches, I guess. Does that mean, help me though? I'm not a vampire. This is a normal trash can. Huh, wait. Something inside. It's too small to be a handkerchief. It's a glass, it's a glass of cleaning cloth. It's got some great cartoon character on it. Same one, the same one on the. It's not the same one as on the on that photo album. The um, camera, photo camera. Um, it's also covered in blood. Oh. Ah, uh, uh, did you find something? Yeah, there's a cleaning cloth inside the fresh can. Huh? A cleaning cloth. It's all bloody. Whoever you this belong to must have used to drive up some blood. But who needs something like that? I haven't the slightest idea. Yeah, me either, but I think it might be important. So I'll have to add the truth bullets. Yeah. Hmm. So this is where you, you were. I have been searching for you. Be glad and rejoice. You have? Why? Why, I wanted to thank you for what you did, so be glad and rejoice. You were useful to a Tagami. Uh, not that you mentioned it. Not that, not that you meant to. Well, no, fact. Not that you meant to, but you ended up making this little game of ours very interesting indeed. Uh, okay. 
You should go to Hero's Room. Oh, let me give you this. We in dining hall? This is enough that Hero used to wrote to get us all to meet up, right? Hmm. You remember well for an ant. Well, the payment symbol is pretty remarkable, so I left the impression. It's all clear now. Anyway, it makes it clear, right? This is a trap. Uh, what is? <laughs> hmm. Things are also even more exciting. I am impressed. Uh, what are you talking about? I already repaid my debt to you, peasant. I don't owe you any more explanations. Goodbye. Okay, so Mr. Mr. Jerkface, go to the dining hall's room, but wait for me there. I don't know. Let's find out. Doors unlocked? I guess I go inside. Yakia said the look. I might that'd be a great idea. I'm gonna take the plunge. This hero's room. Kinda of weird stuff in here. Where did he even get all this from? Importantly, he still isn't turned up. This means he can't really complain if I don't this person starts for his room, right? I think there's something in the cardboard box. Blueprints for something and... Something that's made out of, looks like, cardboard and plastic and plaster. Is this Rebel Justice? And it's in Hero's Room? But wait. These blueprints. Something about them bothers me. Hmm. I'm add to the truth bullets. Where is it? My room. Treasure camera. Yeah. I silently checked the bathroom. The in here is pretty grungy though. The bathroom didn't get this dirty. You're a dirty, dirty man. What are those monitors? I can put on. about right now. Wrong. We found Kyoko! What? She okay? Where is she? Wait, I, I, wait, I was done. There's more big news. Stop worrying about your girlfriend. Not my girlfriend. Sure, Nagi, sure. Just a second. Rebel Justice showed up too! Rebel Justice? Hmm. It's here, wearing the costume. Okay. Anyway, as soon as you can, let's pull the second floor. I think Hiro and Kyoko turned at the same time. Anyway, I gotta head to the pool. I'll take a floor as fast as I could. <sighs> Kyoko and... I mean... Fumon, I have the worst day. Hiro? Hero. He was chained to the pool room locker. He looked like he was fast asleep. So I kicked him and he woke up. I woke him up. Don't be mean. I thought I'd leave you kick me, Mom! You could have been a little bit more gentle about it. Like, I know, I don't know, correct my face or something, Mom. What? That's creepy. Anyway, Kyoko, where have you been all this time? I guess it's pretty all of a sudden, without a trace. Wow. There was something I had to check up on. What do you mean? Never mind. I can't never mind! 
Never mind. Hey. More importantly, she says that. Does she have any idea? Does she know that people think that she might be a spy with a mastermind? Yeah. First of all, Hero, you need to explain why you're to us why you're dressed like that. I mean, uh, uh Mount Mon. Usually, I have. I mean, I have no idea. It's like I was asleep, and not how that even happened, and then I woke up, and here I was, Mon. Hmm. I don't care. Do something about that costume. It pains me just to look at you. Huh? Uh, well, um... Let me out of here! I don't know what's up with this thing, Mon, but I can't actually get off it off. A little help. Why? Why would you make something you can't really take off your, your, by yourself? Got it all wrong. I didn't make this stupid freaking thing, Mon. Hmm. There's a clasp. There's a clasp on the back that's keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy, I don't, so I don't think you can get it off on your own. We don't really have a choice. Well, let's help him. Took everyone's help, but slowly we were able to get Hero out of the suit. It took a few minutes, but eventually we we, we got all the pieces off. <laughs> Free the last one. Hmm. Is it kind of we? Is it kind of weird that perfectly the suit fits Hero? So then, <laughs> more important to the point, nobody but Hero be able to wear that costume. Uh, um. Uh, wait, wait, hold on a second. Honestly. Duck, don't, acting, don't bother acting in the set. The blueprints are in your room as well. Okay? In other words, it's obvious to everyone that you made this costume. That's true. That's true. I saw the blueprints for myself. Yeah, me too. Could it be? It's obvious. The one who put this costume on and attack everyone. Was Hero! <sighs> Shall we tie him up and gag him? Just the worst. Good idea. Good idea. We won't kill anyone else. What? What? Tie me up, Mon! Hold on, guys. I think that's going a little far. Right. He may be a suspect. But he deserves some fair treatment. Hmm. Yeah, I mean. Um. Uh, uh, attacking Blueprints, Mon? I have no idea what you're talking, guys are talking about. Can't talk your way out this one. It's, it's decided. You kill them. Please. What? Kill who, Mom? I don't know what you're talking about. That must be a it must be a fake hero running around and around. You don't want to wear this costume. So else could be the possible? Else could be the possible? Possibly the costume attacker. How you know I'm the only one? Maybe you should try it on for yourself before you can pick back to me. Okay. Finally, give me a trick about it. I will. Was he a beat? He had to put on just his costume. Huh. See, look. See how loose it is. See me, you see me dancing. I'm a dancing. I mean, come on. I'm blind as a bat in here. Can't see my feet at all. I'm, I'm telling you, it wasn't me. And not to mention, you totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. That's not a very nice thing to say. Mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, it's not like I made it. I just got caught up in the moment. Well, either way, now we know for sure, right? I mean, it seems pretty clear that nobody but Hero could have fit into this dumb costume. In a huff, he had took the suit back off again. Oh. <coughs> well, well, now you're out of excuses. Uh, um... Uh, no, Mon, you see, because you're a grill. No, 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 they got then. Makoto, go ahead. Why me? Because I, Tagami, told you to. Gee, thanks, Tagami. No, pro no problem. I, I want you to do something, and you shall do it. Your, your life is now complete. 
Okay. Against my will, I picked up the piece of the, off the floor and tried putting them on. It's no good, the arms are too long. There's no way I can wear this. See, I told you it was impossible. <laughs> You're absolutely right. It seems this costume was made to fit Hero's body exactly. What? Another costume. No, let's have one. Looks the same, if, but it fits them. Honestly. If you persist on this line of defense, then show us some evidence. What the heck? Evidence, Mom? <laughs> Clans in their suit, yes. You must find it and show it to us. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck, Mom? Just the worst. Who cares? He was the only one out of doing all this anyways. That's terrible. So we know it's him. What? what? Is that really true? Is that really true, Mom? I have no idea what's going to happen then! Don't like tell me! Let's see if it's the truth bullets. Meep. It's just lost in thought. I'll just need to move the talk. I better leave her alone. Oh. I just I certainly did not expect Hiro and Kyoko to help at the same time. Hmm. Or has Kyoko been hiding all this time? I have I, I have no idea. Then perhaps Perhaps she's really this with the mastermind. That helps to explain her questionable behavior. But <laughs> you're quite protective of her, yes. Do you like her, Nagi? I guess he helped me out so much until now. <laughs> I have to measure mine. That's what I would do to earn your trust. Huh? Hmm, it's looking more and more like it really was a setup. What the heck? Look at everyone, all this one. You, you did it. Everyone knows it. Uh, you don't tell me what's going on. Uh, I don't understand, Mon. I think I forgot someone that's been killed, right? Makoto, who was it? Well, two people were killed, Taka and Hifumi. What? what? Two people? Two people, Mon? Just the worst. What are you figuring out? You, you did it. Please. I did not. Huh? Okay, wait, hey, hold up. Uh, hold on, Mon. Those two are the ones that were killed. How about that? That's it. I know who did it. You may as well tell us then. Hmm. Talk and you're fighting over Alter Ego, right, Mom? I'm at least 30% right. Which means Alter Ego and, and Orchiro could have done it. Must have done it. Correct. I see. That's unfortunate. Please. Huh? Unfortunate? What the heck? Don't try to trick us. Just admit what you did, okay? Uh, um. I'm telling you, you got it wrong, Mom. Oh, so then. Oh, I know the note. Note. Uh, um. Last night, someone slipped a weird note under my door, Mon. Here's what it said. I found a hole. Maybe I, I, we can use it to escape. Okay, we can't find out, Mon. Don't tell anyone else for now. Let's be in the tech room at 1 a.m. Uh. Last thing I remember is going to the rec room. For some reason, I fell, I fell asleep. Hey. The killer must have drugged me or something. Just the worst. A chance. So... Hmm. No. Hold on. He could be on something. The nurse's office did have chemicals that could do it, that. Huh, really? Uh. I told you, someone tried to set me up, Mon. As you get past it, check to escape someone with that trick me, I'll trick me, trick me. Uh. Ch Even that's true. You must, have dumb, you must be the one dumb fist to bite every bite, bite, bite foot in front of you. Well, after being trapped here so long, Mon, even if you know it's a lie, you also gotta check, right, Mon? Ah, yeah. oh, God, it pretty much decided to get out of here. Did you see me, Mon? Uh. I just don't buy it. Don't be mean. Well, you should buy it, Mon. Just a second. Can you show us that note? Hmm. The poster I have it right here in my um uh, pocket. No way. Looks like I lost it, Mon. Uh. Yeah, yeah, sure. Please. Yeah, believe me, I would have heard a fly, Mon! <laughs> As I said before, if you don't really have to believe you, you must produce evidence. You show us the note. I have no particular issue what you claim, but if you want us to believe you, give us a reason. Uh... What the heck, for serious, Mon? Here, books. Now, to be for investigation, there's a time to waste before the class trial begins. 
I guess again, we already know who did it. What the heck? What'd you kill him? Tell us, hero! Uh... No, it's like I it's like I said, Mom! Just the worst. It really doesn't kind of money much offered us. Yeah, that must be it. You must be completely broken, that's why. <laughs> Wait, what's there, Kristen, Mom? Somebody help me! What are you saying? I think we're bound to gag you. <laughs> If you have time to yell and carry on, you have time to search for evidence, right? Ah, oh, you're right, Mon! I need a second seat and that note! Feet don't fail me now! I can break it like a guard duty. I was gonna ask Toko or er, er, Genocide Jack to switch with me. Mm. We're seeing Sakura gun in the fight. We have to switch with in our hands. Bye bye! One by one, we pulled away. Makoto. Makoto, do you have a second? Huh? I want you to help me with the investigation. It would seem... It looks like I really started on this one, so I need to make up some ground. Sure, I don't mind helping. You promised me something? But later, when we have time, will you tell me why you disappeared? Why is that? No. It's reject me so simply. Anyway... Anyway, I need, anyway, I need your help. You don't mind, do you? Okay. Shall we go? Thanks. Now shall we? Now shall we? Hey. So, Makoto, first of all, I'd like to examine the, the corpses. Examine the corpses. I can't believe I'm hearing that from the same girl as from a girl the same age as me. Correct. Dead bodies don't lie, you know. They tell the truth far more than easy than living. Hey. Wouldn't you agree? I put the answer. Oh, I put the answer. Anyway, anyway, we have to hurry before the class trial begins again. Yeah, you're right. Okay, okay, okay then. Show me where the bodies are. Then join the, the repository. Right. I guess we should head that way for now. Wrong way. Oh, oops. whatever. I was locked there. We. Ah, fast travel. I'm glad I found it out. If you mean Taka. For a moment, Kyoko seemed to go rigid. Only for a moment. So then. Well then, let's get started. She so crouched down next to Taka while his hesitations began poking and prodding the bodies. I knew it. Hmm. The Makamu files right. They were killed using similar weapons. Her lips were so s smooth. She was so calm. Seeing how comfortable see you actually was made, made me feel a little, little more comfortable I see Makoto I found something he did hey. you remember the wristwatch Tucker always wore in his left hand he did Ooh. are you so oblivious of the people around you you just like other people that much no, that's not it. Anyway, so you said you gotta watch. So then, take a take a look. It's broken. You can see the hands aren't moving, right? Mostly like lucky broke when he has his encounter with his assailant. If you notice, the hands are frozen at just past six o'clock. So that would mean the watch was broken some time just after six. That's right. But last night, Takas Watts definitely wasn't broken. Hey! Hey! Hey you! How long are you going to keep us waiting? Takas' ear Takas irritated voice pierced this area. He started point pointing at Ritz Watts. It's almost 10 o'clock! You know that? You know that? But time for all the little boys and girls! 
In other words, someone worked at someone worked at ten o'clock last night. It couldn't have been broken at six p.m. Me and what's going to happen at six this morning? Where's Watson? Add your truth bullet. However, that's not all. That's not all. Look at Tucker's left hand. He appears to be gripping something. You're right. There's something white in there. Can you try and pry it out? Me? Because... I hear what Mortis has already set in. Boy, should I better suit it the time of your labor, right? Okay. That's why I didn't want to. I grasped t t t Taka's cold, clammy hands. The ice cold hand was nearly enough to cause my heart to stop beating. With some effort, we finally got the, I was able to finally feed the object with a tightly clenched fist. A piece of paper? Hey. What's that all he had in his hand? Yeah, that's it. Let's hear a paper. It doesn't have much of a clue, does it? Is that right? I wonder about that. Yoko then turned to Hifumi's body. So Let's check Hifumi's body. Perhaps he's left a few clues of, uh, of his own. I might have right now. He was able to move Hifumi's massive corpse. Seriously, sorry. I've never seen it. How's that possible? The head. Number three, so there's surface, but. This is covered in blood. Not the spotless. Does that mean someone wearing glasses clean? Who would do that and why? So, did you find anything? Hmm, I did. More than I expected, to be honest. Look at this. A lot of paper? That's right. The Fumi had it hidden on him. Hidden? Indeed. He stuffed it in his pants. So I can only assume he had hidden it on purpose, you see. In his pants! So, wait, did, so did you... Why is that? It was just his pants. Not like his socks or something. I don't know what that means. I don't I wanna know what that means. Hey. Anyway, let's take a look at that little paper. Go ahead, Makoto, open it up. I think I'll stuff down in his pants. It's like... Very important if you feel me. I'll never fear for this. Touching your ew. A note. I found a hole. Maybe we can use it to escape. Lucky we can't find it out to anyone else. For now, let's meet in the equipment room at 6 a.m. So hmm. that sounds very familiar. That's it, the same thing the hero said. You're telling the truth? However. Although, it's not exactly the same, is it? Uh, um... Last night, Monson slipped a weird note under my door. And it's what it said. By the hole, maybe we can use it to escape. I can't find out, out Mon. So I'll tell anyone else. For now, it's going to be working at 1 a.m. The, the time is different. Here's, here, told us the note said, me at 1 a.m. The note they wrote to few me... Asking to meet at 6 a.m. Is that right? Hmm. Hold on. That's because if you had the note, does it mean it was, it was meant for him? Huh? So... Part of, it, part of it was torn off, right? I think there's some likely some meaning to, there. Some meaning to part of it being ripped? Uh, can you say something more? Because Makoto dumb. Think carefully, Makoto. Hey. Why would he? Why would he have been clipping the paper, the scrap of paper so tightly? I have no idea. So then, what if it wasn't the scrap of paper when he was holding it? What if it was something more important? And how would that something important like that become a mere scrap of paper? That's what you need to answer. Hey. And where we're at, I think I said, I'll tell you one other thing. The two victims this time definitely had their e handbooks on them. So the, e the handbooks have nothing to do with how the murders were carried out. Not that, not that, not that there was any reason to think they were 
they were connected to the killings in the first place. So you don't think I know how to hit rid of the handbooks this time, right? right? If you didn't have the thing about them at all, I wouldn't have gone the way to mention it. All I said they, is they weren't used to carry out, help carry out the murders. They may come to a point, however, where a handbook may help play a role. Handbook, <laughs> handbook may a role. I don't understand. Everything over my head. My, my card looks confused. If Kyoko thinks they're important, I better keep it in mind. It's time. Are you excited? Are you pumped? It's time for the class trial to begin! Like the bright burst of fireworks. Like the flash of a soul clashing with life and death. And so, with no further ado, everyone please meet at the usual spot. Make your way to the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon. <coughs> it's unfortunate, but I suppose this is where everything comes to an end. You have to figure out the rest for yourself and come to the proper conclusion. Yeah, you're right. Shall we go? Well, we better get going. Okay. All right, it's time for the trial to begin. But that trial to begin next time. <coughs> Hope you enjoyed uh, our little adventure. If you'd like to help me out with this this game and other games in the future, get, get them done faster. Maybe with more better editing, better stuff, all that other stuff. How about? How about checking out my Amazon wish list or my Patreon? But if, you, if, if you're poor, you can't afford afford this in this trying time. A simple, little simple little comment, like, subscribe, and bell icon helps all so much with that YouTube YouTube algorithm. But in the meantime, never stop learning and enjoy the randomness. I will I, I will see you tomorrow, unless, it, unless it's Friday, and I'll see you on Sunday. It's Saturday's podcast day. Alright. Bye! I'll never stop learning. Enjoy the randomness. Now, now bye. <laughs>